Hello everyone. We're doing an important hot question from the chapter of linear equation in two variables for class 10. It states that two candles of equal heights but different thickness are lighted. The first one melts in six hours and the second in eight hours. How long after lighting both will the first become equal to half of the other? Now understand the question. Supposing we have two candles of equal heights but of a different thickness, then definitely the melting time will be different or not? Obviously, the first one with a lesser diameter is going to the thinner one, will be melting faster than the one which is having a more diameter, which is of the more thickness. So if I'm having uh, the two uh, lighted candles and uh, they start melting, the point will come when this thinner candle will be a half of the length of the thicker candle. So at that stage uh, is the question that how long will it take for that stage to arise? So let us see the solution. Um, I have let the height of each candle be X centimeters. They are both of the same height. So I take it to be as X centimeters. Next, what does it say? I need to make another assumption. I'll assume that let the required time set that the first becomes equal to half of the other be Y hours. So X centimeter height of the candle completely finishes off or melts in six hours. So if it is taking um, six hours to melt X centimeters, then I can say that in six hours, X centimeter melts. So in one hour, X upon six centimeter melts. In, if in one hour it is melting X upon six, so in Y hours it will melt X upon six into Y centimeters. Now, how much of the candle will be left? Initially, we had X centimeters of the candle height and this much has been melted. So the left out candle, the height of the candle that is left will be X minus X upon six into Y centimeters after Y hours. Let us do the same thing for the second candle also. So the second candle takes to melt X uh, centimeters in eight hours. So if in eight hours it is melting X centimeters, so in one hour, how much will it melt? It will melt X upon eight centimeters. So let us find it out for Y. What does it have? What happens? So in Y hours, it will melt X upon eight into Y centimeters. So how much candle will be left? Initially, I had X centimeters uh, height of the candle and now X upon eight into Y has melted. So left out will be X minus X upon eight into Y centimeters. This was my first equation. This becomes the second equation. Let us rewrite both of them. The height of the first candle left after Y hours was how much? X minus X upon six into Y. That can be written as X minus X by upon six centimeters. Exactly same with the height of the second candle left after Y hours is equal to X minus X upon eight into Y. That can be written as X minus X by upon eight centimeters. Now, according to the question, what is given? It is given to us that the height of the first candle left after Y hours is equal to half the height of the second candle left after Y hours. That means that the height of the first candle, X minus X Y upon six is equal to half of the height of the second candle left after Y hours. That means half of X minus X Y upon eight. So can I take out X common from both the sides? If I take out X common from both the sides, I get X into one minus Y upon six is equal to X common and Half is already there, so I get X upon 2 into 1 minus Y upon 8. Can I cancel out this X and X? So I cancel out this X and X. They both are not um, 0 centimeters. There is some height, so I can cancel it out. And what am I left with? This 2 can be taken at this side. So I get twice of 1 minus Y upon 6 is equal to 1 minus Y upon 8. So this 2 and 6 cancels. I will be left with 2 minus Y by 3 is equal to 1 minus Y by 8. I take this 1 to this side and this y by 3 will be taken to this side. So I'll get 2 minus 1, which is equal to 1, is equal to y by 3 minus pi by 8. Let me take 24 as the LCM. I take 24 as the LCM and I get 8y minus 3y, which gives me 5y upon 24. So 1 is equal to 5y upon 24, which gives me 24 is equal to 5y. And I get y is equal to 24 upon 5. And that is equal to 4.8 hours. So I get the final answer. That does the time taken such that the first candle becomes half of the other is 4.8 hours. So I hope it is clear to you. Thank you so much.